Good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Big news last night, the Fed gave its clearest indication yet that in fact December could be the month for liftoff for interest rates in the US, which is a big shock to the market. Uh, the equity market initially sold off only then to rally late to finish into the session and the US dollar has certainly gained momentum versus the sterling and destroyed the euro last night with the um, euro dollar now trading down at 109 the resistance was one spot 11 at one point so that gives you a bit of an idea as to the size and the magnitude of that move dollar yen too spiked up beyond 121 spot 10 uh, to only then drift down later on so Good news for, for equities, I guess, from a U.S. perspective, because you still have monetary easing in other parts of the world and you have the strength of the U.S. economy driving everything on. So um, if we have a look at the U.S. 30 now and we add my, uh, my, my tool on here, we can see that we are only 3.13 percent away from breaking an all time high on the U.S. 30. 3% away from an all-time high. We broke through 17,747. We're bang on that line at the moment. Next potential resistance is 18,112 on that market. Very interesting times. So looking at the UK 100, uh, massive bullish engulfing candle yesterday to close at the top end of its range. And we've had an immediate reversal already this morning and we're trading at the bottom of the daily range, uh, which is not that great. Uh, 64.15 will now be the potential support, potential launch pad target in 65.89 as a next potential support. Uh, other technicals are okay. The MACD didn't cross over in the end. You can see the MACD histogram right here is still showing blue bars. Uh, maybe we might get an, an additional acceleration to the upside should the American markets keep going. So looking at Japan 225, and this is the interesting one because you do have the Bank of Japan meeting tomorrow when they are going to decide if they are going to embark on a new process of monetary uh, policy, i.e. QE in Japan or not. And now that the US has mentioned that they might raise rates, that's going to be interesting because they're going to raise rates, so dollar yen should be ticking up. And if the yen then depreciates more, that is maybe good for Japan, even better for Japan because they want to have a weak yen. Um, so could be so they can export more and make themselves more competitive blah 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 so that's currently where we are 19,104 is a potential resistance that looks to be a holding so far today we closed top end of the range yesterday reversed this morning uh, almost got a bullish crossover death a golden cross on the moving averages other technicals are still neutral to overbought if you look at the slow stochastic um, the MACD histogram is slowly tapering off perhaps indicative of slowing momentum. Looking at dollar yen, you can see the bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, a reversal this morning, it bounced off 120 spot 55. Any move higher will target 121 spot 87 should the good times continue to roll. However, it was West Texas crude yesterday that had the biggest rally. Uh, this is probably about a 7% move, hugely bullish engulfing pattern, um, mainly in the back of uh, what was it, higher inventories, because obviously it was Wednesday, um, so crude oil Wednesday. Um, but that's not just it. There's people being short for a couple of for a couple of weeks right here, and what we can see is potentially a huge amount of short covering as a lot of traders decided to get out of their short West Texas positions. And this is a classic short squeeze formation to have. And you had a hammer formation on the candlestick charts there. But 45.85 looks to be a stringent resistance. And even though we closed at the top end of our range, we failed to break through it this morning. To be honest, this looks like a, a very interesting kind of retracement um, opportunity right here. It's up for the clients or you guys at home to decide if you think 45 spot 85 is going to remain a resistance level, in which case you might retarget 42, or if you think 45 spot 85 is a resistance that is going to be broken. And certainly looking at the other technical indicators, there isn't any clear bullish momentum generated after this one candle. From a technical perspective, this is a hammer, this is a bullish engulfing pattern. So uh, you guys at home will have to decide in the backdrop of a stronger US dollar what's going to happen with uh, West Texas crude now that the US apparently has a green light for the strength of that economy. So 
Moving on to the yellow metal gold, uh, it obviously doesn't like higher interest rates. Very, very uh, strong negative candle there on gold. It seems to be that gold could be an interesting play for traders who think that December will yield a rate increase. A huge number of traders would bet against that because people have been very bearish on US rates now for a little while. And um, the Fed had surprised last night with its comments. But uh, how much of that is political and how much of that is, uh, is actually genuine um, strength? Because the macro data coming out of the US hasn't exactly been that uh, exciting. It's up to you guys at home to decide. But certainly from a technical perspective, this is a really ugly candle that we had yesterday. We've bounced off 11.57. Any further weakness opens up 11.38. Right, let's finish up with GBP, USD and Euro dollar. You can see the chart from Euro dollar looks pretty horrible right now. And uh, we had a perfect retracement to one spot 11 yesterday, dumped over 200 points. Uh, we're floating in limbo today. One spot 0786 is the next potential support. Technicals still show there's further room for maneuver as the MACD histogram gets larger, showing an increase in negative momentum. The RSI is just going into oversold territory, but only just, and the R slow stochastic still has room to go. So we're in the middle of two ranges now, so it'll be very interesting to see where we go today. Um, but certainly this is a very strong technical uh, break below 1 spot 11, um, but be careful of any retracements out there. Economic data wise, we still have today US GDP, and that's going to be important today. Employment, that's going to be important today. Uh, and you've even got German CPI. You don't want to forget about that if you're trading Euro dollar as well. So, um, a fair amount of uh, macro data events to keep you um, interested. Cable as well, drifting lower uh, as that dollar strength comes in rather than sterling weakness. But one spot, 51.85, is the next logical potential support level. Bearish cross on the MACD. We had the sell signal on the slow stochastic a number of sessions ago, and the RSI is neutral. But certainly, if we are in the backdrop of a stronger US dollar and we get a good GDP figure today, uh, there could be further moves in the dollar. If GDP comes out as a big miss, that's when things get a little bit more interesting because the Fed's not going to raise rates if the macro data is absolutely rubbish. So, more important than ever. Will the US macro data releases match up to the Fed's ambition to raise rates in December? Or will we have to wait until early, early 2016? Well, we're not going to find out tomorrow, but by tomorrow you'll know the GDP figures. So join me again then to find out what happened next.